Hello, everybody. Do you know which fr fruit contains more iron, the apple or the banana? Well, do you even bother? Iron is the center of the oxygen transport in red blood cells, helping us breathing. So yes, I think we should ask ourselves where we can get this information from. And I will tell you, here we go. Smart scientists have developed a special type of instrument, the so-called mass spectrometer. And this mass spectrometer allows us to identify and to count atoms, salts, and even big organic molecules like proteins. The detectable concentrations are incredibly low. I'm talking about one grain of salt in 50 bathtubs of water, and even lower. So we are looking for the needle in the haystack, like this one. But how does it work exactly? Well, at first, we put an electrical charge to our, our particles, and then, in the mass spectrometer, we are guiding them to a kind of electromagnet. The job of this electromagnet is to pick out only particles of a specific mass and to guide them to a detector where they are counted. So I attached a strong magnet here in this carafe. And if we imagine now this needle to be essential iron and the couscous in this cup to be a banana dissolved in strong acids, we are now able to determine the iron content of our banana as we tell our magnet only to pick out particles with the mass of iron, and then transport them to a detector and count them. And the amazing thing is we are able to detect a large number of different elements in the blink of an eye. But I want to be honest with you. In reality, it's even a lot more sophisticated and a lot more elegant. So nebulized from a carrier gas or dissolved banana flies here into the plasma where it is ionized by a heat hotter than the sun's surface, the ions then are entering the mass spectrometer where they are accelerated by the high vacuum to supersonic speeds. And now, focused by ion lenses, they are dashing around angles and edges, reaching the four bars consisting quadrupole. And this electromagnet, the quadrupole, is setting the electromagnetic rhythm, allowing only ions of a specific mass to fly on a stable trajectory. And only these ions are then hitting the detector. And because reality has, of course, its pitfalls, it is my job to develop new methods which allow us to measure specific elements even more precisely and even in lower concentrations. So if you are eventually wondering which of your favorite fruits provides you best with iron, look it up. But keep in mind that we analytical chemists are tuning our instruments for you. Thank you very much.